from Parker Wink. Welcome to Boston University Hockey, the Terriers and the Vermont Catamounts. And now the Catamounts looking to jump back. Lucas up over the line, throws it in off the blocker of Tucker on a rising shot on the attack. Barrett's good lead, right side. Phillips looked in front of the goal. Fensori on the centering pass from Phillips. Well, speed through the neutral zone, speed across into the offensive zone, and then great, unbelievable puck presence to know where that weak side wing is coming flying down. Great job getting that puck to the net. Here for Harper. Harper now shifting. Harper to the near circle. Rister wow. and a goal. Patrick Harper under the bar for a 2 to nothing lead. Well, we talked about how the Catamounts don't like to cover the points. They like to go low to high. There was a perfect example. It's the Terrier forwards almost doing like a basketball three-man weave out at the blue line. You're forcing the Catamount defenders to run north-south, south-north, or east-west, or one of those things. Coming out high all the time. Patrick Harper just read it perfectly and rifled it under the crossbar. Asaf is controlled by the Catamounts. A little daylight Kaufman with a wrister. Saved by Tucker. And he'll get possession there for a faceoff. Back, Ten seconds. but not out. Lucas had it. Here we go. And now Stevens sends Curry away, and Curry deposits to the empty net with 5.1 seconds left. So the Terriers of Boston University prevail in the opening game of this two-game weekend hockey series with the Vermont Catamounts. Um, I, th I thought that um, you know Vermont came in, good team. They had a good game plan against us. They a good job defensively, and our guys stuck with it at times this year. We've been in a position like that, um, and we get frustrated, and we try to make big plays instead of just making simple plays. And I thought tonight we did a really good job with the simple plays and didn't give up a lot uh, on our side other than on the power plays, and, and that's a, a credit to how hard these guys are working in practice on the defensive side of the puck. Definitely seen things up in the third period there, especially with the five-minute major. What do you think helped you guys do that? Well, I, I, I think that those guys are, are working really hard at the penalty kill. Uh, we got a lot of work on it last week uh, against UMass, and when that happens, you get a lot of video too. So we were able to kind of break things down a little bit, and I, I think that um, uh, I think the guys bought in a little bit um, to how we have to kill a penalty, and I, I thought that was excellent. And I, I, you know, they all did a good job, and we were using eight, nine different guys to do it up front, and then basically all of the defensemen and. Uh, you know, I mean, how many blocks did Curse have tonight? It was unbelievable, you know. So when you see that, you know that the guys are really into it and they, they really want to keep the puck out of the net. It was, exactly, yeah. Yeah, you're always a little bit worried when you see Patrick go down. He's such a tough kid, you know what I mean? So if he gets up slow, you know he hit the boards pretty hard. And, uh, you know, but he was back out there the next shift and, you know, obviously got the empty netter, so he got a little payback, I guess, for going into the boards. David Barron's extended his point streak tonight with uh, two assists. Can you speak a little bit the Thomas performance? Yeah, D David's just so good with the puck. And, and I think teams obviously coming in are keying on him, and, and certainly if I was coaching against him, I'd be like, dump it into Four's corner and try to be physical on him as much as possible. And they, and they have, and yet he still keeps answering the call. It's not just the points either. If you saw him, he was really good on the penalty kill tonight. Um, really good in our zone and, and did a nice job all around. So I, David's game has rounded out really nicely this year. I mean, obviously the points are really flashy and the goals are, you know, like, wow, the defense was scored that many. But if you watch him and see all the video on him and, and see what he's doing day to day, his leadership among the, the group, everything has just been fantastic with David. So we're, we're very happy to have him. I didn't. Um, it was happening at the end, and we were worried about who's going out, who's not, and you're trying to keep the bench straight. So I haven't seen the hit yet, so I can't really comment on it. Sorry. Yeah, Steve-O, welcome back. And what did he play, 22 minutes or something? Like He's a good, solid player, and you get into games like that that are gritty. You know, you like having him on, on, on the ice and, and being tough and strong. And, you know, he made a nice play for the empty netter, right? Him and Mastro were battling over there on the wall, and then he slid it out there. I believe he slid it out there. We're going to look at that. But uh, they, they did a nice job on that. And then, and then uh, you know, Debbie is uh, – Jack, Jack is just uh, – a good solid player and, and last year if you watched him he got better as the year went along and then he had a great summer in the weight room and and now you know and it's a kick in kick in the teeth to have to you know get injured before the season even starts and yet he just kept working and he came in and he did a nice job for us tonight
Well, I think that's going to happen, right? You know, it, um, they, they have to get experience no matter how good they are, no matter how talented they are, no matter how highly touted they are. Um, there's still learning that goes into it, and I think the learning for the guys that we get is without the puck. And then all of a sudden they find out when they play the right way without the puck, the puck ends up on the stick a lot more. And, and I thought if you watch both of those guys tonight, they were in a pretty big role for us. And uh, again, you guys, everybody sees the offense and all the good things they do. But if you watch those two guys in our defensive zone, they're pretty good. And uh, you know, neither of them weighs you know 150 pounds soaking wet, but they still battle and they're still tough and they're playing against a good Vermont team. And I, I thought they were excellent. Uh, I don't know how main I was. I, I would say the players were the main guys tonight, and you know certainly the staff. We all we all chipped in a little bit with our own, with our own things, and and that's great. And we're very very happy to have Albie back tomorrow. And um, got to go out. Only one team can sweep, and and certainly hopefully it's us. My goal. I just had a good amount of time and space, and um, saw a little bit of room upstairs, and just tried to elevate it um, high and fast. So luckily it went in. Um, I think we just played a sound third period, you know, limiting our mistakes and making simple plays, chipping puck deeps. Um, yeah, I think we just played a sound third period. Um, I think all the deer just making more simple plays, you know, not turning the puck over. I think early on we've been turning the puck over a lot, but I think, uh, in the back end, we're just playing calm back there and making simple plays, so. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, there are not a lot of players in college that bring to the table what Trevor does, so um, I think with Patrick and, and myself, um, we just tried to, tried to keep it simple, but also just you know, find each other. We've been fortunate to play together for the for the first little stretch of the season here, and we, I think we've developed some good chemistry and, and just know where our tendencies are going to be in the offensive zone, and, and because of that, we're able to to possess and create in the, in the O zone. So, I think with Trevor out, um, like I said, he's he's a special player, and no one's really going to replace what he brings to the table. But I think me and Patrick uh, just picked up the slack and uh, kept it simple and and just uh, tried to use our skill and speed. So.